I wasn't taught this in school, and I, and I bet you weren't either. It comes from this book, which is about the history of the United States, specifically viewed through the lens of St. Louis. The U.S. Army was developing radioactive weapons, specifically bioweapons that could be spread in, in an aerosol form. In July of 1953, unmarked military vehicles with the support of scientists from Washington University and Monsanto Chemical Corporation traveled through black neighborhoods in St. Louis, dispersing a iridescent aerosol fog that lingered in the air. In the second round of testing, instead of using vehicles, they sprayed chemicals directly from radio towers in the notorious, infamous pruitt Igo public housing complex. This didn't just affect adults. Um, baby teeth samples taken after they'd fallen out found levels of radioactivity in their bones 50 times higher in the black neighborhoods than in the white neighborhoods. If you find yourself asking the question of whether or not racism ended when slavery ended, the answer is no. Unequivocally, demonstrably, emphatically, no. If you have doubts, check the radioactivity levels of the baby's teeth. And if you think that this legacy ended in the 1960s, you would also be incorrect. Instead of testing advanced biotechnologies on black populations, now we test advanced artificial intelligence technologies on black populations. Here's one that's being tested right now, currently in use. It's not a bioweapon, but an algorithm. You can read more about it in Ruha Benjamin's book, Race After Technology. This story is important enough for you to know, even though I can't think of a fun way to explain it to you.